Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, now I've seen a lot bigger earthquakes than what's happening right now. And I've seen days where there was way more earthquakes than what I see right now. But I wanted to show you a map. You can see the ring of fire. Uh, what's known as the ring of fire, obviously, all along here, all along here, the ring of fire, okay? Now, there is some other earthquakes that take place in different parts of the world all the time, but this ring of fire is getting more and more volatile all the time. And Alaska, in the last, uh, about within the last two hours, has really, really been hit with several very powerful quakes up here. But let me tell you what's happened. 40 earthquakes in the last 24 hours um, that are at least 2.5 or more. But folks, it's like the earth is reeling and rocking back and forth, which is exactly what Isaiah said would happen in the last days in Isaiah 24, verse 20. It says the earth's going to reel and rock like a drunken man. Now, we've had a 5.9 earthquake way down there in Chile, uh, a 4.0 in Afghanistan, a 4.5 in Argentina, a 4.5 in East Timor. Then there was two smaller quakes in the British Virgin Islands. 5.5 strong quake was in Taiwan. Um, there was some... Uh, uh, Smaller quakes, U.S. Virgin Islands, the British Virgin Islands. Then there was a 4.5 that hit Vanuatu, followed by 2.7 U.S. Virgin Islands, 4.7 Japan, 3.3 the British Virgin Islands, 4.3 California, 5.2 Fiji, 4.5 Japan, 5.1 El Salvador in Central America, 3.2 Arizona, 3.3 Virgin, the British Virgin Islands, 3.6 Alaska, 2.6 Puerto Rico, 2.9 Alaska, 4.1 Arizona, 3.0 California, 4.7 in the uh, Rike Jane's Ridge. 5.9 Alaska, 5.2 Alaska, 4.2 Alaska, 5.0 Alaska, 5.3 Alaska. It's just a swarm right in here at the tip of Alaska there. 3.1 Puerto Rico, 2.6 Puerto Rico, 4.5 Alaska, 2.7 Alaska, 4.9, the Fiji Islands, 2.9, Utah, 2.9, Washington State, 4.9, Pakistan just hit, and 2.6, California minutes ago. Um, so there is a definite ring of fire swarm. Now, now they could start to cool down, calm down, or... We might begin ready to see something even larger before the day is over. But it's because it's not just one spot. There's some powerful quakes moving all around this ring of fire. I mean, look at them all around here. Good size quakes, activity, a ton of flurry here. Good size earthquakes hitting. Uh, and then, of course, way over here, which you can't probably can't even see on your screen, way over here, just now, in Pakistan. Okay, I don't even know if I can get the camera over there far enough. There we go. But just, just now, over here. Okay? So, but there is certainly a significant activity going on in the ring of fire right now, and uh, we're going to keep a close eye on all of it and keep you up to speed as the day goes on because we're seeing apocalyptic events Definitely pointing to the signs of the end times. Jesus said it in Matthew 24 when he talked about all the wars, the rumored wars, and the false Christ and false prophets of rise and nations against nations, kingdoms against kingdoms, famines, droughts, you know, pestilences, diseases, of course, and earthquakes in many different places. We need to pray because uh, we're living in a very, very 
last days. And so who knows what that means? But I've had people say, well, when are they going to start, Brother Begley? When do you see the last days starting? We're in it. I just don't know when it's going to end. But I know I'm standing in the middle of it. I'm watching every day biblical prophecies taking place at an accelerated rate. And now we're getting reports. They uh, just got reports about this plane that was uh, that came down in Egypt, the Russian plane. We'll find out it did. It was caused by a Im mechanical impact inside the plane. So it was not shot down out of the air. There's a lot stronger evidence that it was blew it blew up from within uh, and brought mechanical failure that brought this plane down. We'll see. Russia has now really got a close eye on ISIS. ISIS says they did it. Maybe they had somebody working at the airport that planted a device in there that brought this plane down. We don't know, but uh, ISIS says they did it. We'll keep a close eye on all of these things happening. We're in the last days. Don't miss today's live broadcast. My show starts at 12 noon Eastern at my website. It is going to be powerful. It is prophetic. And it is absolutely necessary to know what's going on in these last days. Jesus is coming soon.